learning a lot about pain and grief, but even more about community, to go home with hope. It feels like you have to leave with such a big theology of the kingdom that there is, you know, someday coming where all the world will feel as real and hard and solid as this time, and that in that place all of these people will be there too, and we'll get to catch up and say, but what happened after that? first heard about Lemuel Ministries, I immediately fell in love with their approach because I had grown up going on a variety of different missions trips with my local church to places all over the world, but often felt at odds with our approach. We would spend a ton of money to travel to an area, do a bunch of projects for the local people, take a few selfies with their kids to post on social media later, and then leave without ever asking if our presence was at all helpful or even possibly detrimental. And then it all clicked when I first heard about Lemuel Ministries because this was an organization that was providing a better way, a different way to approach poverty alleviation. They prioritize the dignity of their local people. They seek long-term sustainable solutions to their community's problems. And they invest in their community in a way that creates a beautiful place to live in, especially for the next generation.
Carl died in 1979, the day after Christmas, and he lived right next to me, so I knew him very, very well. And at the time, he was not a famous man, and he used to come up here to work every day, and he'd sit in his office, and the snowmobile trail goes right past his window, and he'd watch the snowmobiles go by, and he wouldn't say a word. It was a wonderful thing to see because you could tell his mind was working. If he saw the amount of snowmobiles today, he would just be blown away. I mean, it can become more or less uh, harmful to you or, or people around you, but we reframe all the time, and memories themselves were a framing, not the actual reality of what was going on. And so even for me coming back to this area, I think it's a little bit of that for me as well, of like, I'm trying to close a, a book. I'm trying to lay something to rest. I'm trying to perhaps reframe or just explore as a way of letting it go to rest, whatever this was, as what I would consider my most uh, significant span of childhood. And then I lost almost all connection to it. So it is this like, well, then who am I? And what am I? And what was that? Yeah. So for me, because I haven't been back here for seven years, um, and therefore a good number of the people and places and experiences that were like life-defining things I've had no access to, meaningful access for so many years. Um, I think for me it is a little bit of a, I came back to close the door.